Hello, and in this video we're back on with more Drupal stuff. Now, I just wanted to talk a little bit in this uh, series of videos about design and designing themes for Drupal. As you can see, we've got the default Drupal theme on our site. It's called Garland. If we go into our themes we can select all these themes and obviously we've got garland set as the default um but what if i wanted to have a completely different look which i do because um if i keep this look it's just gonna look really generic um one of the things i could do is go in and configure the default um garland module and just change some stuff but it still looks pretty generic um because all those changes are the colours. Today I'm gonna and in the next series of videos I'm gonna show you how to create your own custom theme from scratch. Now to do this obviously you're gonna need to use uh, CSS and you're going to need to know CSS um, basically what I'm going to do is just take it one file at a time and I'm going to explain each file that you need in its own separate video because otherwise it's just going to take too much time so I'm going to stop blabbing otherwise I'll never, never get this done um, so we're in our contributed themes folder that's in sites all modules and themes i'm just going to create a new uh, theme called i'm just going to name it screencast and then inside of that folder we're going to make two files and my theme uh, a the name of your theme dot info file so screencast dot info and a style dot css the, these are all that's required now in Drupal 6 but we're going to need some more files but like I said I'm going to take it one file at a time so we're going to do the info file today and we're just going to define some really basic things name equals screen cast theme description equals This is a custom theme, and obviously these are my um, and then you're just gonna put core equals. Six dot x. This means your theme is compatible with Drupal six. If you're running anything before that, you're not going to um, write info files anyway. So um, the next thing 
we want to define is uh, version and I'm just going to set equal to 1.0 and let's set the um, engine to PHP template now I don't know exactly what this does but PHP templates the core engine so it's always good to uh, build on that and there we've created our um, theme file so if we try to activate our theme now with those two files it would work but we're going to take it a bit further we're going to define some custom regions regions are what 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 we saw in in the blocks video um they are these things that are labeled here header right sidebar content footer and a left sidebar now you don't actually have to define these because if you don't those are the default ones you'll get but it's always good to um, define them so you can choose your own custom ones and then in your layout file you can lay them out however you want so this is the syntax for defining a region so first I'm going to define the header region this in those brackets is the machine readable name that's what we were um, doing when when we were uh, doing all those views content types so when you come to print it that's what you're going to want to put and now if we save that we should have a theme that we can activate um, so if we go back and we go to themes um, and we see screencast theme and it's version 1.0 and it's got our description so if we save that we notice it works now just to prove that our style sheet has taken effect let's just add some real simple uh, information and you can set the body background as red and the text color uh, is green again just to, just to show you so the background is red and the text color is green so for all intents and purposes you've just created a Drupal theme. In the next video we're going to be talking how to lay some of this stuff out. Thanks for watching.